Good things. In this one, we'll talk about what a base is in topology, also what a sub-base is in topology, and also what the local base is in topology. All these things might as a word remind linear algebra, but they don't necessarily mean the same thing. They're not the same thing. And also we will talk about in the case of in the context of topological or the field of topology in general. So let's first look at what the base is. We'll take a topological space uh, with set X and topology tau on that. And the set X will be a generic one with finite too many elements. It will have A, B, and C as the three generic elements that are contained in the set X. And then the topology of this set will be containing, of course, the full set, empty set, and then the individual um, elements. And also, it will contain all these elements put together um, like this. And what else could it have? It will also have to contain the combinations of A and B together, A, C, and also uh, B, C. Now this together forms a topology. Uh, a, B, C and X are kind of the same thing because X is defined just like these three elements, A, B, C. So if we talk about the entire set, we actually talk about A, B, C. If we talk about A, B, C, well, that's the same thing like X. It's just repeated statement, but why not do it? Just show, uh, first of all, the, the, the requirement to have the entire set and empty set. And then let's now derive the different uh, subsets of X that we need inside the topology. By the way, the rules on how to construct a topology have been mentioned in a previous one, in a previous video on this channel on topology and topological space. So if you want to watch that, you can. Uh, and it's definitely recommended to know that before learning about a base of a topology and so on. So base of a topology, how it's, how it's defined is basically we can take individual elements from a, from a topology and we need the property that via unions, various unions of these elements, we can generate the rest of the elements of the topology. And if this, namely with this discrete set, what one could think about as the first most easy way is to just take each of the elements and put them as three members of that base. And of course, different unions of these elements will precisely generate what we have among these uh, elements of tau, because that's exactly what they are. So, so yes, um, there's, there's a concrete definition to write out, but instead let's look at an example. Let's consider some base of tau and check if it works according to the requirement. So if it contains these three elements, A, B, and C, well, we have to know a base is, as has just been said, it's elements in tau that whose unions can be the rest of the elements that belong to tau. So it's not all elements in tau, they don't have to be all elements in tau, they have the property that their unions will generate the rest of the elements that belong to tau. Okay, so let's look at this. Yes, A, B, and C are directly contained in tau, and then the combinations A, B, and A, C, and B, C can they be created as units of some of these members? Yes, we don't have to take all at once. A and B together will give this, A and C will give this, and B and C will give this. So that works. And also, the entire set can be generated as taking each of these, putting them all three in the union. The empty one can be put into existence by um, taking nothing with nothing as a union. Something like an empty union creates an uh, empty set. So this is a basis of tau and it satisfies the requirements. So now that we've kind of shown, looked at an example of what the basis is, kind of grasp the basics of the idea of a basis of a topology. We can look at a sub-basis. So a sub-base of a topology is basically defined in a similar fashion yet slightly differently. Here, unions were concerned, and in the case of a sub-base of the topology, again, we're taking elements from tau, from the topology, but if we're talking about the sub-base, we are using elements from tau such that their intersections will generate a um, basis. So, perhaps it was not that useful to delete the basis in the first place. Uh, we, can, we can write the basis once again. Because the subbases will be related to the bases, so a sub subbase uh, to the base. A subbase uh, is, for example, the to S, and again a set like this. And now let's determine what it has to have if we are relating it to this topology. So what is a subbase of this topology? We need to take some elements from tau. So it's elements from tau that fulfill the requirement that different intersections of them 
will generate the elements that belong to the tau's basis. So subbase is related to some base and of course to the topology in the first place. So what members of tau can we take in order to generate as intersection of them these three elements precisely? Well, what we can take as most easy ones are precisely, for example, we can take um, these four we can take because their intersections this with this will be uh, A, this with this will be just the B, this with this will be just the C, and these three will be generated. Another way could be A, B, A, C, that together will generate A. Then A, C, B, C will generate C, and if we want to generate B, we take A, B, and B, C, and that will generate B. So it depends what kind of subways we can choose to create. Perhaps a more seemingly easy one is this, but a one that illustrates it maybe easier to check is this one. So perhaps let's use this example. Let's take the A, B, C that belongs to tau. So we're allowed to take elements from tau and then the three single element subsets of X. And then all together we can take different intersections and it turns out that these intersections will generate the base. Intersection this with this is A, this with this is B, this with this is C, and for example, this with this is the empty set, which of course is nothing. And so, yes, again, this is a good example of a subbase because it illustrates the basics of what a subbase means. A subbase means that we can generate the elements of a topology space by taking elements from the topology and then via doing their intersections, we generate the rest of the elements of the base. So that uh, went well. And now let's look at a local base. Uh, let's consider a different topology. Let's still take the same set from the uh, topological space uh, on the set X, uh, which, which was maybe C, but let's take a different topology, different combination of different subsets of X. And it will be a shorter one, but it fulfills the requirements, namely the entire and the empty set are there. Also, any uh, unions will still belong there, any intersections will belong there. Now, let's look at what a local base is. A local base is that for any point, uh, for any point um, x inside the underlying set uh, exists some uh, bx uh, such that the point is contained in this bx and the bx is contained in u, where u are open sets where, where uh, u belongs to topology tau. What is meant here is uh, precisely that a local base basically is attached to a point, to a member of the underlying set X. And now we take this point and we do a local base for X, for example. So let's say uh, local base X, uh, uh, or in this particular sense, we have points A, B, C. So let's do a local base for A. A local base for A is some subset of every open, neighbor, open neighborhood of um, that concerned uh, point, in this case A. So if we're doing a, a local base of A, that means that we will take all the open neighborhoods of A and uh, then we take some subset in which this A is contained of these open neighborhoods. So for example, the point itself can be a local base because a subset of all the open neighborhoods uh, in which uh, A is contained among the tau's... Uh, by the way, an open neighborhood uh, means basically the open sets, the sets in tau in which that point, open neighborhood of a point is the sets, the open sets in which the point is contained. So because in tau we have these two in which, uh, where this one is the same like this one, where, where A is contained, then the open sets are, this, uh, are basically uh, this set and let's take the other example as, uh, for example, AC for this particular case, because we want a lot to talk about A in this case. So we can do this. Uh, let's just slightly change the topology. It still works, still um, fulfills the requirements. But what we're talking about here is that open neighborhoods are this and this for A in this topology now. Um, and so let's, let's take, let's look at an example. A particular example could be, for example, the point A as a set on its own. And why this would work is because what has to be satisfied is there, for, for any X, we can do some open uh, local base, 
and we can denote it log, uh, like b with sub-index of that particular element from x and that element from x has to be that point from x it has to be contained in this local base while this local base is a subset not necessarily a proper subset but a subset of of all the all the um, open neighborhoods of all the open sets in tau in which in which um, in which um, in which that element is contained so if we if we say that we're considering all the all the points from x in which that x is contained also uh, those that are in tau of course so these are the subset of x that are members of tau in other words open sets open sets okay and so what could work is a by itself because it does satisfy these requirements uh, a local base for a um, uh, being this a by itself does satisfy the fact that it belongs first of all uh, that that um, the a belongs there because yes it's the only element so it belongs there and then also it it is on its own a subset of all these u all these u's they are first of all in tau and a is in them because uh, yes it is it is a subset of abc which is the first open neighborhood of A in tau, and also it's also a subset of AC by itself. So this is an example. But another example could be AC entirely. Why? It's because we can expand it by more points as long as A is still contained there, and it will still be a subset of, uh, in this case, these two. So what could work also is um, if we call this local base. To, to contain A and C um, together. So yes, this will work. The, the point for which we do the local base uh, is still contained in it. And also, it is still as local base uh, contained in both of the open neighborhoods of A because it's contained in A, B, C. And also, uh, or, or it's a subset of A, B, C and it's also a subset of A, C. And because of that, it's also uh, example of a local base. So AC is also a local base for A.